What's up, Tech fans? It's Marco from Tech of Tomorrow, and the HTC One M8 has been with us for the past month or so, and it's time to give this guy a revisit to see how things are going. So if you haven't been around or been alive the past month, Donald Sterling's made some racist comments, and the brand new HTC One, the encore to the old HTC One M7, has dropped into millions of people's hands. Maybe not quite millions, but definitely a lot of hands, and it's definitely one great device. The new M8 is faster, bigger, and made with more metallic elements, something called aluminum, which is different from aluminum apparently, and it's definitely a different device because the old M7 was a device we all fell in love with, and the new M8 is a device that I'm deeply in love with so far. So let's give the HTC One M8 a revisit one month later. The HTC One M8, or as people would like to call it, the Mate, is one sexy device. Now being built out of 90% aluminum, it has a texture unlike any other smartphone out there. It makes the One absolutely the most slippery device known to man. It's like someone who took an iPhone 3G and smothered baby oil all over it. But where this extra aluminum comes in, beauty does follow. And so far, I've only managed one tiny scratch right below the HTC logo on the back, and one tiny scratch on the display. And keep in mind, I kept the one almost bare throughout the whole one month. One minor thing to note is about the boom sound speakers and mainly the speaker holes themselves. I had an issue of debris getting stuck underneath the speakers on the HTC One M7 and they're still here with the new M8. So the phone is still beautiful. Good. Next would be hardware, specs, and battery life. Well, the HTC One's 801 chip is now out on a few smartphones like the S5, the Oppo Find 7, and the just recently announced OnePlus One device, which is a sub-brand of Oppo, apparently. But I've only used the 801 chip on the S5, which we've made a comparison video on that a couple weeks ago, which you can check out in the description below. It's still generation leading, but obviously it mainly relies on how well the software uses all of that power from the 2.3 GHz quad-core chip, which we'll get to that in just a moment. The other side of this hardware talk is the battery life. With a slightly larger battery, you would only imagine a slight increase, but you're wrong. I have never managed to get this one underneath the 20% mark at my end of the day, and you have to realize I almost practically work off my phone on a day-to-day -day basis. And that super battery saving mode is still not active on any of the US models, but really, I just don't need it in the future. And it's not only me, tons of tech YouTube people have had similar results. Now let's switch our focus to software. The One M8 runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat and Sense 6.0, which at the time of this recording is still the most current version of Android and Sense. I think I'm standing with my earlier claims of this being the best skinned Android experience to date. I've never run into problems with built-in applications crashing, all the features work most of the time, and I've never had anything that annoyed me. Sense 6.0 is still a breath of fresh air for Android 4.4.2 in my opinion. While some may disagree with me and may even favor the Google Play Edition M8, I would still stick with my standard one with Sense 6. Now there are some things I would like to change, like how the app drawer scrolls vertically instead of horizontally, but that's just an HTC thing. I would also change the motion launch settings to be less sensitive and let you use those gestures with a phone on a table. Which leads me into motion launch itself. It's actually more helpful than you may think, and it can help people with smaller hands. It almost gets rid of using the lock switch entirely because you could just swipe from the right hand side to unlock your phone in one motion. You can also launch into blink feed, use a voice command feature, and if you flick the phone into landscape, landscape mode and tap the volume rocker, launch the camera application. Throughout my time browsing, tweeting, watching YouTube videos, and playing games, I've never run into major problems with Sense 6. I think I've only had about one or two games crash on me, but other than that, it's nothing. Another major aspect of Sense 6 is the upgradability of the software. HTC is making a major strive to keep their software up to date on all the phones over over the air updates. That also means we can hope for the next version of Android to be available on the HTC One M8 within weeks or even days of its arrival at I.O. this year. The last thing I wanted to mention is the camera. There is no changing the original verdict of the HTC One with its camera. It's of low quality compared to the S5, the 5S, or really any other flagship on the market. We all wish it were better, but that's just what we have. So after a full month of the HTC One being in our hands, we still love this phone. It's still in my pocket as my daily driver, and I think that's the most ultimate award. Coming from a man who sits at work and reviews tons of phones each and every year, the phone that sits in their pockets must be the best, right? But all sorts of people have different sorts of taste when it comes to owning a phone for an extended period of time. The HTC One M8 is not for everyone. There's other flagships around, and many of them are coming soon, like the OnePlus One, which uses 
uses a very similar hardware structure, yet costs half as much as the M8. But if you like a phone that's built like this, runs beautiful skin software like this, and just looks as beautiful as the M8, then this would be your perfect fit. So let us know what you think about the HTC One M8 and whether you own one or not. Also let us know if you'd want to own one or could care less because there's other phones around. You can also ask me questions directly on Twitter to at MarcoMHanna is my Twitter name and feel free to give me a follow while you're there. And as always, my name is Marco from Tech of Tomorrow and I'll catch you guys in the next one.